Fast, the gamer. Fast, the gamer. Believe it or not, like everybody had like an opinion about this game. Not too many people fuck the fuck with like the first Mass Effect. And to be honest, the first one wasn't really really wasn't that good to me either. But this remaster, this remaster made it worth it. Definitely something that's like replayable. So you can do different decisions and all that. So I give this one eight out of ten. And honestly, the only reason why I give it 8 out of 10 is because so far, it's the, the second one is still like my favorites so far still. Because again, I beat the second one before. So it's like me giving it a 10, I kind of can't do just because I played it. Had I probably not had played the second and third one, this probably definitely would have been an easy 9 out of 10. My only thing was it was just like small annoying parts, but it's like you get past that. This definitely a it's it's definitely an easy nine out of ten. But we're gonna give it an eight out of ten. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be something at the ending. But yeah, like I say, like I always say, like thank y'all for rock with me, Foster Gamer, Foster Gamma. And um, I think we got time to get into the second one a little bit. I think we got enough time. Can I please just, oh, okay. I was like, yo, can I please skip this? <laughs> so that was it. It all saved at the tower. I don't think I can resume it without um going back, but yeah. Uh if I was to go to expand it, I'd probably say um Although I like the fact that the side quests were all voice. Like for the most part it was all voice. So it made doing them not as much of a chore. But it's like the traveling in the Mako, I can see why people didn't want the Mako around no more. And then it's like... Hmm. What else can I say? Oh yeah, relationship-wise, like with the relationships in the game, I hate that there was only like two choices. And then at the same time, also hated that um it seemed like I didn't notice this till near the end but it's like you like I guess it's the characters cause I seen in another I seen in another um let's play of this I think it's just the characters like you say the wrong thing and it's an instant flirt and it's not like you can like it's not like they give you many options to avoid it it seemed like the game was trying hard to push relationships. Like, to be honest, I'm not trying to do like no relationships like in the first one because, like, I wanted to 
I want either Tally or Ran to be honest. Like one of those two. But yeah. Um what else? What else? Definitely more needs more customization. To be honest, a lot of weapons were kinda necessary. I'm happy they they kind of removed like the whole um omni gel and having too much in your um in your inventory system like in two if I remember. But yeah, they, they took care of a lot of that in two. And I think that's why two ended up being as good as it was. Like, cause to be honest, like two's kind of like 10 out of 10 worthy. <laughs> so it's like, I'm expecting a 10 out of 10 going into, um, going into the second one. But, I guess I'm gonna take me a bathroom break and then we can just hop. Fast. The Gamer Fast The Gamer